Hi, everybody, and a good luck, everyone. Thank you for being here. I'm Ziri, and I'm here with Project Masoya Tours. And I just had this beautiful last few days here in Poland. I'm now in the city of Legends, uh, Stan Chavez in Krakow. And I'm so excited to be with you guys live. And as you can see, our cameraman is walking around. You can see that today is tonight and tomorrow is the yard site of the Holy Rabbi. What are you doing here? <laughs> He's just be hiding. <laughs> the Holy Rabbi Rabbi Malimah, me legends. And we're going to talk about him soon. We're not really qualified to talk about him as much as our special guest is tonight. So we're lucky to have Rav Gav. Rav Gav from Friedman Shlita with us here tonight. Um, and I just want to say that all of you guys, part of the Tehillim Army and your family. Um, and by the way, you can get your family to come on now. Like if you have relatives that need a good Matzi Shabbos activity or well, maybe even eating Malav Malka. Um, you can come join us now and we're going to talk and also have a minute for Tehillim and Tfila together soon as well. It's a very special Indian to Davin, um, always obviously, but especially now with the pull off of the Tzadik. And I'm holding here 47 papers filled with tiny prints of Tfilos that you guys submitted to be said here in Legends tonight and very happy to be able to, you know, bring those Tfilos a little closer. But of course, we're going to Davin all from our home. So let me go see. If our special guest is ready, I just want to give a shout out one second to you guys. You want to come in? Want to come in? Yeah. Okay. So I am now based out of a Eastland uh, Hatzala ambulance, and thank you very much for giving us your ambulance. Uh, what's your? You have a good English, right? Pretty good. Yeah. That's good. Uh, English, right? You go. English is okay. English is okay. So what? What are your names? Yechiel. Yechiel. Not them. Thank you so much. And you want to say anything? There's a couple of thousand people over here, kids and their parents. What do you want to say to them? Praying for Israel and peace in the world. No, thank you everyone for your support. Uh, we're all volunteers that came from Israel to make sure that all the people are coming to pray over uh, the nominal for what come back to stay home. And to get off the prayer of everyone, including you guys on Zoom, hopefully we'll have a really good year. I mean, I mean. What do you want to say? Anything? You you agree with him? Yes. Okay, amazing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Support Ishqad Hatzala. Okay, and without further ado, I'm going to introduce Rav Gav. Oh, how are you doing? Thank you for being here with us. What is this? A little bit about the norm. First of all, I'll tell you, the, 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 the shot that you're seeing over there, if I have to stand, how does this work? The shot that you're seeing on top over there, it's inside the cab there. The norm I just came from there. It's a little bit tight. It's, very, no, it's a lot tight. It's very tight in there. But uh, I want to explain to you a little bit about the tzaddik. The Nomeli Melech was a very big tzaddik. And he helped Yidin, he helped Yidin, he helped Jews, so many Jews. A real, real big tzaddik. And uh, a lot of people come to Davin on, on the art side, on the kever, by the kever. As you see right now, we have, we're talking about thousands of people. Thousands of people are there. And it's going to be getting more. It's going to be up to probably 100,000 people. But I want to tell you one story just about the Nomeli Melech. A lot of Yeshua's, a lot of beautiful things happen because of tefillahs that happen right over there. That we are seeing up over here, but right over there. There's a, there's a story about, a Israeli, about an Israeli um, a travel agent. And he, he saw that everybody was buying tickets to go to Lezhensk. They're going to Lezhensk. He didn't understand it. Why is everyone going to Lezhensk? Like, what's over there? Why is everyone going to Europe? It's a weird thing. They're going to Poland. Why are they going? And he wasn't religious, so he didn't understand who the Noam Elimelech was. What happened? His boss tells him, he says, what do you mean? The Noam Elimelech, it's, you know, the, the holy, the holy Rebbe of Meilech. The holy Rebbe of Meilech. That's what they called him. The holy Rebbe of Meilech. So he said, what, well, who's that? He said, oh, he's a very holy rabbi. He said, oh, he's, he's alive? He said, no, 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 he, he died. He goes, he died? When did he die? Recently? He goes, no, like a couple hundred years ago. He goes, what, they're going to a dead rabbi? Why would you do that? No, they, they pray there and they, you know, it's a very good thing, it's a big deal. And the schuss and the merit of the big tzaddik that Hashem should give them Yeshua's and they should have salvation, what they're asking for. He said, That's ridiculous. They're going to Davin, they're going to pray to somebody dead. This doesn't make any sense. And he said, I'll tell you what, I'll make you a deal. You don't need anything in your life. There's nothing you need. He said, No, no, there are things that I need. Like my wife and I were married. We don't have any children. Or we would love to have children. So his boss said to him, I'll tell you what, I'll make you a deal. You go ahead. 
I'll pay for it. Go to Lejeune's. Go on the on the on the uh, yard set of the Rebbe Go play. Yeah. He looks at him like, "What are you talking about?" He's like, "What do you have to lose? You go there, you pay, and you know if it ends up being that uh, nothing happens, so you got a free vacation. But maybe something will happen, and you'll have a child. But I'm making you a deal now. And the deal is that if you have a baby, and it's a baby boy, you have to name the baby Eli Melech. So the, he says, "Okay, yeah. deal," because the whole thing's ridiculous anyway. He goes there, he prays, he dives right over here. You don't understand it. Uh, we're talking about 150 feet from him. And he prays and he prays. And then he comes back home. Ten months later, they had a baby boy. They had a baby boy. But he never told his wife, and they're not religious. They're not religious. They're living in Tel Aviv. Habibi Tel Aviv. And he goes and says, Tel Aviv is not a place that people name their kids Eli Melech. So he has to tell his wife, though, he made a deal. So he goes in, he's, he's holding the brand new baby. He says, honey, I didn't tell you this, but um, I'm so sorry, we have to call the baby Eli Melech. And then she goes, Eli Melech, absolutely not. Tell me, whatever you can, Eli Melech. We're going to have a choice. I made a deal with you, Eli Melech. What am I supposed to do? He said, nah, no way. You tell me to break the deal. So he goes back to the, his boss. He says, I'm really sorry, my wife won't let. I have to break the deal. He goes, not a change. He didn't make a deal with me. He made it with the, with the, 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 the mile. He can't, he can't go and go back on that deal. So what am I supposed to do? He says, come, we'll go to a rabbi. With your wife, a live rabbi. And we'll go speak it out. So they went to Bnei Brak. And when they went to Bnei Brak, they go, and, and, and this worker comes, a secular man, and his wife, and their baby, and, and also the boss. Everyone's there. He says, what's the story? So he says, very simple. I told, my, I told this guy, I made a deal. I go, Davin, I'll pray. I'll pray. And I said, if I, if I have a baby, I'm going to name him Eli Melech. So what am I supposed to do? And he says, what about you? What do you say? He says, there's no way I'm naming my kid Eli Melech. It's not a thing we do in Tel Aviv. I'm not naming him Eli Melech. So the rabbi says, okay, I'll tell you what. What do you want to name your child? So the, so the mother said, I always wanted to name my son if I had a boy. Noam. So the rabbi said, oh, interesting. You want to name him Noam. Mm. I have an idea. How about you name him Noam like you wanted to name him Elion? And as a middle name, you'll name him Elion. But the name will be Noam in the middle name of Elion. Does that work? So she said, you know what? That's fine. I'm okay with that. We'll call my Noam anyway. And then the husband comes and says, okay, deal. And they end up naming their brand new baby Noam Eli Melech. Do you understand how crazy that is? Noam Eli Melech. Who said, I don't believe anything. And they name him And they end up naming both name. Many brachas, many issues, many things that happen can it stop you. The one person who can tell us what it's like. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to grab anyone here. Any of see this, your people. You know, oh, look at this guy over here. I got over here a very holy Jew. Look at this Jew over here. Holy, a very holy Jew. Holy, but I'm in Shuva. He's in Shuva. He's a very holy Jew. And this guy who is a normal Melech. Why are you here? Tell us why you're here. To protect the Jewish people. To protect the Jewish people. That unbelievable. He came to protect the Jewish people. But they're only enough. Unbelievable. So we see over here, we have a Tzala guy who's over here. And we have, oh, one second. This is more important. This man right here. First of all, what's your name? Uh, Ariel. I'm from Poland. So. Are you uh, from Poland? And I'm a security officer. Security officer from Poland. I used to chill here, coming to help and protect many Jews that are over here. As you see people walking by, here comes a youth walking by right now. You always going? No, 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 no. You guys did unbelievable. So I'm going to show you, Davin. Of course, we Davin for the worst, and we Davin Hashem. We recognize how powerful it feels, and unbelievably, we show so many incredible miracles happen because of uh, it was Swiss and Minute of that. No, no, no. How much time do I have? This is amazing. How do you return? I don't know what time. Time. At this time. I think we have to be on the bus soon, but he said there's a delay, right? Delay 20 minutes. Delay, delay. delay for the buses? Yeah, we have extra time. Okay, so let me tell you guys one more story. There's a story that's told about the Nomeli Melech. And he had a very holy brother. His brother's name was Rav Zisha. Zisha Vanapoli, very big holy people. And one time, you know what happened? I'll tell you what happened. What happened was, is the two of them were going together. They went to what's known to go on into Gullus. They went like into exile. So they should get atonement and they went around to give. You have someone, oh, stop it in the story. A holy year of year. First of all, I know, we were telling them, what's your name? 
Avi Birnbaum. Avi Birnbaum, move over here to block the light. Okay, good. And you're coming from where? Um, Krakow. <laughs> before Krakow, where do you live? Warsaw, Lublin. Oh, he lives in Lublin. No. Where, before, where do you spend your summers? <laughs> Cedarhurst, New York. Oh, Cedarhurst, New York. So you came out here, obviously, to be part of this. The question is, why? what drew you to come to the No Mary Miller? Uh, it's a big thing to come to his yurt site. You get your wishes fulfilled, oh. and you get brothers, and you can say, uh, fill them for people, and that's the reason. Oh, that's a beautiful thing. We People come in for their own issues, their own things they need, and they're also going for somebody else, they come for somebody else, so we can go and we can have it. Really, we can have it all the time. You speak to Hashem, speak to Hashem, whatever you want, go and talk to that comes broken. But there are certain times, known as an Israel zone, certain times are a little more open. You're breathing in the fumes here, right? You're getting that? Yeah, you're feeling that? Yeah. Anyway, it's the fumes of the no Mele Mele. Anyway. <laughs> thank you so much. So this is, this is uh, so what happened was the no Mele Mele of Zusha, they end up in a prison. They got framed for something, something, you know, they didn't do anything, but of course, they were called to go to prison. When they go to prison there, and they were like people that steal and people that kill and like all this kind of stuff. And there was a little bucket in there that people would go to the bathroom in. There was a line in there. A big open room was a bucket in there. And Rav Zusha, I mean, no, Mel Mel, because I'm upset. And Zusha saw his brother, saw he's upset. He says, well, what, what's the problem? Why are you upset? Why is it unstable? Why did it go unstable? Where, where are we connected to? This? I think we're good. Okay, we're good. So, anyway, so so what happened was, is that uh, he was very upset. So his brother said, why are you upset? He said, because I can't dive in, because there's a bucket in here. It's disgusting. I can't dive in. So he started dancing. He was so happy. He goes, what are you so happy about? He goes, because now we get to fulfill the halacha that says you're not allowed to dive in when you have a bathroom there. You get to serve Hashem by not davening. And he said, oh, you're right. And he got happy and he started dancing. And, la, 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 and they're doing their thing. And they're really excited. Everything was going beautiful. And then the guards saw they were so happy. He goes, what's going on here? He went to one of the ganavs and the thieves there. He says, what's going on? And he says to them, oh, look at that. Look at this over here. Look at this video here of a Jew here davening, singing, dancing. Maybe he'll come towards us. We'll meet him. Anyway, so he goes and says, they said, what's he so happy about? So the thief said, I don't know. But it was something to do. It has something to do with the with that bucket. He's like, I'm not going to be happy with that. So he took the bucket out. And then he started dancing because of the fact that they can now dive in again. You see how unbelievable. He gives Hashem a simcha to make sure that we're always in a state of simcha. We just want to serve Hashem the highest level we can. Yeah. Wow, wow. Okay. Um, guys. Yeah. Am I speaking? I was going to ask you to leave to him, but we found someone else. Oh, sure. I'm sure. Yeah, Nefa. Wow. Yalad Mir 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 Wow, it's a white wine. Wow. Okay. Atal Mukhan is a barak. Let me show you that. Babir or Besefer? Babir is a barak. Shiramalus Betsa Rasali. Shiramalus Betsa So he's going to say the Tehillim one wine at a time. I'm <laughs> 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 Do you know what Barak is? That's Aras Ali Karasi. Okay, well, we're gonna, he's gonna say it nice and slow and think about something that you want so, so, so much. Think about something that you need with children. 
כי הם יחשבו על משהו שהם מתפללים, you know? כן, אם חושבים על מה הם צריכים, אם הם חושבים על זה, משפט, משפט, כן? משפט נכון. ומאייסף <laughs> שלום וחי הדבר. אני שלום וחי הדבר. אין על המלחמה. אין על המלחמה. וואוווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווווו
You have so much space there. We must do the first part of Adi Rabbi. Adi Rabbi. First part. Okay,
Wow, that was so beautiful. You could keep singing in the background. Thank you, everybody, for joining me live from Lezhensk. And Mr. Shem, we should all join together at a live Zoom to greet Mashiach, Mr. Shem, the Carlos. Keep davening, keep joining us, the Tehillim Army, wherever you are in the world. Never forget our Aftos to Klai Yisrael. Now, forever, we should all see huge, huge, huge Yeshuas. And I cannot wait to see you once again on the Tehillim Army, Mert Hashem, on my return back to America. And I'm going to bring all the inspiration I got on this beautiful trip here with Project Missoula Tours. And Amir Tashan, you'll be hearing a little bit more about my experience and how us uh, Jewish people are going into a beautiful future. Thank you to Rav Gav, Noam Buskila, and all of our special guests here tonight. And everybody, and, and Project Mr. Tours, like I said. And if you need anything, you need to go to, you need to go to uh, on a private family tour of Europe or come on one of their organized beautiful trips, you know who to call. You call me and I'll hook you up with the wrong person. Do you want to say something? The bus is leaving, and I, I kind of like it here, but I don't know if I like it enough to stay here forever. Like the music. Who, who are you? Um, my name is Mayor. The bus is leaving. Shalom, shalom. Hello, hello, hello. I'm a great, great, uh, even a great grandfather. Siri. 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 Yeah. Siri. We have to go. Okay, okay we have to go. It was a schuss to meet you. It was a schuss to be here with such a nice group to play music. It was amazing. Tell us when you're in America. Yeah. Bye. Signing off, everyone. The bus is leaving.